Hi, this is Marty from Blue Lightning TV. I'm going to show you how to create a Polaroid photo montage from one photo. Feel free to assemble your Polaroids based on what you see in your photo. This image is 1500 by 1150 pixels with a resolution of 150 pixels per inch. Click on the new layer icon to make a new layer and then call up your rectangular marquee tool. Go to your document and shift click as you drag out a square selection. Click on your foreground color and type in 50% for the brightness. Press Alt or Option plus Delete to fill the selection with the foreground color. Go to the new layer icon and press Control or Command as you click on it. This makes a new layer directly below the active layer. Go to Select and Transform Selection. Go to a corner and when you see this double arrow, press Shift and Alt or Shift and Option and drag out a little bit. Go to the bottom middle and drag down the Transform some more and then press Enter or Return. We'll fill the selection with white and since white is our background color, press Control or Command plus Delete. To delete the selection, press Control or Command plus D. Let's give it a drop shadow. Click on the FX icon and choose Drop Shadow. We'll make the Blend Mode Multiply and the color black. We'll change the angle to 135 degrees, the opacity to 40 percent, the distance 16 pixels and the size 10. Go to the top layer and shift click on it. This highlights both layers. Press Ctrl or Command plus T to call up the Transform tool go to a corner and when you see this double curved arrow rotate it clockwise or counterclockwise to move it click anywhere inside and move it press enter or return to accept it click on the top layer to make it active and call up your magic wand tool we'll make the tolerance 5 and check anti-alias and contiguous click inside the gray box and this will make a selection of it since we now have the selection of the gray box, we can trash the box itself. Click on the background to make it active and press Ctrl or Command plus J to cut the selection out and place it on its own layer. Drag it above the white shape and make both layers active. Make copies of the two layers and drag them below the original set but above the background. The reason we dragged copies below the other set is because we want the drop shadow of the first Polaroid to cast its shadow onto the Polaroid below it. Call up your transform tool and move the copy to another location on the background photo. After you rotate and reposition it, press enter or return to accept it. We'll repeat the same procedure as we did for the first Polaroid. Click on the top layer to make it active and press Ctrl or Command as you click on it to call up the shape selection. Now we can trash the photo since we have its selection. Click on the background to make it active and press Ctrl or Command plus J to cut the selection from the background and place it on its own layer. Now drag the layer above its respective white base which makes a new Polaroid picture. We'll make a copy of this copy by shift clicking on the white base and pressing Ctrl or Command plus J. As before, drag the copies below the others but just above the background. Call up your transform tool and drag this copy to a new location on the original background photo. Rotate it and press Enter or Return. Continue this process one by one with each Polaroid you'd like to add. Once this is done, we're ready to place them onto a new background. Click off the eyeball of the background to hide it. Click on the layer above it to make it active, scroll up, and shift click on the top layer to highlight all the layers in between. Press Ctrl or Command plus E to merge them all together. Find a background or pattern you'd like your Polaroids to be placed on. I found this wallpaper pattern at cgtextures.com. Go to Edit and Define Pattern. I'll name it Base Pattern. Open your Polaroid document. Go to the New Layer icon and press Ctrl or Command as you click on it to make a new layer below the active layer. Click on the Adjustment Layer icon and choose Pattern. 
The pattern that appears should be the last one you saved. Changing the scale increases or decreases the size of your pattern, and since this pattern is seamless, so is our background. Our image looks great as is, but let's add one more step to give it a bit more interest. Click on the top layer to make it active, and press Control shift alt e or Command shift option e on a Mac to make a composite snapshot. Go to Filter, Render, and Lighting Effects. The Lighting Effects window will open. Open your list of presets and choose Soft Omni. Move it to the area you want to have the most attention. Depending on the characteristics of your Polaroids and background, you may want to adjust the numbers we'll be assigning to the lighting effects. For this image, I'll make the intensity 60, the color white, exposure minus 8, the gloss and metallic minus 100, and ambiance minus 70. To accept it, click OK. Have fun making your own montage of perfectly aligned Polaroids of your favorite photo. This is Marty from Blue Lightning TV. Thanks for watching.